Okay. Anyway. Let me see what else is going on. Meg Thee Stallion is in the gym with Glorilla. Playboy Cardi showing off his new jewelry. Atlanta anti the menace has been arrested for armed robbery and criminal street activity. You wouldn't even know. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sexy Red says she's getting paid 200k per show. She says 200k for a show. Am I selling swag? Really? That's kind of interesting. 200k. I don't know about 20K. I definitely think that... I definitely think that... Um, I think she's getting definitely over 100K. Because these days, rap is... It's it's not necessarily about your catalog or what album you have on. Have out. It's, it's really mostly about hype. And here's the funny part about it. Sexy Red is the most hyped rapper... It's of like newer rappers more than any even guy. And it's kind of interesting because like think about this. Sexy Red hotter than Finesse two times. Hotter than 42 Doug. Just name some other rappers. Like she's hotter than all of them. So do I think she getting 200k? Uh, let's do the math. Let's do the math. Right? Let's do the math. Okay, pocket watcher number one. Let's go. Sexy Red concert. Where's the last place she performed? Okay. She's going to be performing in Philadelphia on June 1st. But this is this her concert? No, that's Roots Picnic. That's Roots Picnic. Um, let's see. These are events that are coming up. This is Summer Jam, Governor's Ball. She's at Dreamville. See, we, we got to figure out her own show. Okay, let's see how much she would probably get for Las Vegas and Boston. Those look like those are, are her own show. Okay, is it? Yeah. So let's do the math on this. The ticket sales are 54 general admission. 100 for VIP. It's Cox for, uh, and, and no Diddy on that. Um, Cox Pavilion in Las Vegas. Let's look at the capacity. Cox. No Diddy on that name, by the way. Huh. Uh, it depends on where. Like, I wonder how many tickets would be, she'd be selling. Okay, we, we can't. I think that they have many configurations, and I know she's not doing 18,000 there. I know that's a fact. Let's go to let's go to Mississippi Coast College. Oh, no. That has other people. Has and friends. Yeah, yeah that, that's a whole different situation. Okay, l l let's look at the one in Boston. Is that just her? Okay, Aganis Arena in Boston. Let's see how much that holds. Capacity. Okay, good. 7,200 people. Perfect. Let's look at how the ticket sales uh, are. So it's $42 for the most part. Let's see the floor. The floor is going to be 84. Y'all can see that? 84 for the floor. Right? Floor one is 84. Floor two is 84. And back here, we're, we're, we're going to go with 42. You see $42? So it's 42 for regular ticket, 84 for, um like, floor tickets now here's the point with that it's basically like 50 and 100 because once you add fees you're gonna see fees once you add fees it's gonna come to like 50 dollars and shit like that okay so 50 dollars and 100 dollars we're gonna make it simple we're gonna just do the math on how how she's getting paid 200 thousand okay because i know um i i know rod wave did the barclays and i think he brought out about like uh probably like 11 12 000 people and he got paid three hundred fifty thousand. Right? And that's the Barclays. That's actually an arena. Uh, I guess this is an arena, but it's just not like uh, an arena like that. Number one, let's say she sells. We're not going to, even though they say capacity is 7,200, we're just going to say, we're going to work with 7,000. Okay. 
Let me see. Let me get my calculator out. Calculator. I just want to see if it's kind of possible, really. Give me one second. Okay. Here we go. So, of the 7,000 tickets, let's just say 5,000. Um, no, let's say 4,500 are for the $50, and then we'll do 3,500 for the $100. So, 3,500, and those are the floor tickets, right? 3,500 times, actually, no, I'll just do 3,000. 3,000, 3, 4,000. Okay. Am I doing math right? Yeah, 3,000, 4,000, yeah. Okay. 3,000 times 100. Okay, that's 300,000. And that will be plus 4,000 times 50. 200,000. So this show probably will grow. 200,000 plus 300,000. Simple math, people. About half a million dollars. Yeah. I, yeah, I could see her getting 200,000. Production's probably going to cost 150. Pay the building probably another 100. Or maybe like 80 or something like that. Staff and all that shit. And then Sexy Red is her concert. She gets the rest. I see 200,000. Actually, I believe it. Now, granted, this hasn't sold out yet. But I'm pretty sure it's a promoter that gave her this deal on whatever tour she's on. So she's probably guaranteed to get that. It's the promoter's job to fill these seats. That kind of makes sense, though. Kind of makes sense. That's kind of dope for her. I'm proud of her. People be hating on sexual. I don't know why they be hating on sexual. Look at somebody in the chat or in the comments and they say, yo, she from poor, so she don't know about money, and she thinks 200000 is a lot. Uh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is a lot of money. So how much does she get out of that 20K? That's the question. Yeah, I don't really know her business. I do know that um, she works with the guy who was running Worldstar right before Q died. So, you know, I don't want to loud his name up either. But the guy who was pretty much Q, and actually was running Worldstar after Q died, too. They gave the keys to Worldstar to him before the family came in and took everything over. Uh, he's, like, managing her. He was managing her. Low-key chat. Um, I am going to lie to you. I, other than my, other than me getting my car today, really long and bad. Um, not long and bad, but but just schedule wise, I've been fucked on on so much things. Um, actually, Sexy Red invited me to be in her music video that was today in Miami, but obviously I'm here with y'all, so I'm not there. Um, I think she, at least from what I heard, she wanted me and Aiden in there. I don't know what video it was, but she was doing a music video. She wanted me and Aiden in the video. Um, she was supposed to do Aiden's stream tonight. I don't know what happened. But Sexy Red's super smart, or maybe the people around her are super smart. The thing goes viral with me and Aiden talking about it. She has a little moment, right? And then she's about to shoot a video. She says, bring these two niggas and get them in my video. I think she's kind of smart. She's been, I'm going to be honest with you, she, out of everybody, I don't know if she necessarily understands social media or the people around her. Which, again, remember, the guy, one of the main guys who's in her camp, he used to run Worldstar, right? He used to, like... I don't want to say the name, but he used to run the whole World Star platform um, right before Q died and after Q died. Um, so he's savvy with social media. So I don't know. And I've always said, and I think that nigga has even access to, to her accounts. I don't know if he's the one pulling all these strings, but Sexy Red is like fucking amazing on social media. And for, 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 the, for a, a ghetto chick, as people might think, bruh, she, she seems kind of cool. Anyway, she wanted me in the video, um, but we didn't get a chance to do it. Uh, hopefully, me and her will link shortly again. We're supposed to do a podcast, too, but we'll figure it out. When I say amazing on social media, like, 6 9 called me yesterday, right? And we we're talking about, like, we we're talking about the state of rap, right? And it was, like, a very interesting question because, like, he was like, yo, act. I'm looking like what's going, you know, he's in like the DR right now. He's like, yo, I'm looking what's going on in rap. These guys aren't selling music anymore. 
And the reason why there's not selling music is because these days it feels like you have to match the music with the content for the most part. Now, granted, if you're like Kendrick, you don't have to do that, right? You don't have to have like a bunch of content. But for the regular rappers, like Sexy Red is very active socially just as her, she's dropping music. It works. Same with Ice Spice and Lotto to some extent, right? And the majority of rappers now, they don't even know how to work social media to create free marketing. Sexy Red does that every day. Like, and, and whether you think that's just her being her, it's smart. She's she's creating free marketing, which means something the blogs could post every day. I was talking to 6 9 about when he had a run in 2017 and 2018. 6 9 used to wake up and literally say, I need to get people talking about me, right? Every day. And that allowed the music an easy runway to get started into people at least hearing it for one time. If it's hot, it's going to go. If it's not, it's not. But it's it's working these socials by giving people content, whether they're talking good, bad, or indifferent about you. At least they're talking about you. And, you know, again, put it like this. Think, think about like a, a, a Chris Sean Rock at you know, at least while Blueface was out, when she was in the media all the time, she dropped like some atrocious song and it started to catch on because people were interested in her socially. So I, I guess the point what I was trying to say is that I don't think a lot of artists know how to work the social media angle. It's not only just Instagram. It's like, you know, even TikTok and some shit like that. Or even like, you know, work some of the, you know, the streaming elements of it, right? Like everybody's doing the same formula. Like, okay, when I got something to do let me go pop up on kai or aiden stream but you know there's probably better ways to do it that you could keep like it looking organic but have like this like whatever clout that helps the music sell i'm only giving saying this to you because whatever sexy red is doing it is working and if you think for a second that oh she's just some ghetto hood rat on educated woman that don't know that she is making headlines every day by whether she's teasing that her baby daddy's going to be Drake, whether she's, you know, um, showing off her getting per like some shit from from Drake or somebody else or her, you know, what I mean, playing into the fact of Aiden saying that he smashed her. She's smart. And again, maybe it's not her. Maybe it's her team. But that's a big part of her success. If y'all get what I'm trying to say, you know, what I mean. think y'all get me some okay they said which side are you choosing why the hell they just th th threw kanye over here with the weekend kanye weekend future uh metro kendrick versus drake sexy red uh, uh j cole and 21 savage i ain't gonna lie to you this side is fucked <laughs> this side is fucked the mere fact you got Ye and Abel over here, it is over. Like, put it like this. Kendrick, Future, um, Weekend, and Kanye are already Mount Rushmore people. Like, it's just Drake, Drake, Drake over here. You know what I mean? Respectfully. Oh shit, Annoy made the blog. Let me hear what he said. Gary, facts! All you who wanna come for Drake, be per and, and I ain't gonna lie, all this flip flopping shit that y'all rappers be on, when y'all be over on one day, and then y'all next minute dig around the next man, all that shit is over with. Drake is not doing no more apologies this time. You now it's, it's to pick a side time. You stay over there, you stay over there. If you, you either you OVO or you're not, you rocking with the OBS, the boy, or you're not. That's what it is, gang. And anybody who's not, it gets scary. Facts. All you who want to come for Drake, be per <laughs> and, and I ain't gonna lie. All this flip flop and shit that y'all rappers be on, when y'all be over on one day, and then y'all. Yo, chat. Just please tell me. Like, y'all have to tell me this. I don't sound like this, right? When, when I'm getting my shit off, I don't sound like this nigga, right? Yo, this nigga look like he about to bust a Glock for Drake, yo. I don't sound like this nigga, right? This nigga look like he finna shoot a nigga for Drake. This nigga sound like he's gonna spend a block for Drake.
No, y'all are tripping. This dude like he finna crash out for Drake. Nah, I'm not worse. Y'all are lying. Yo, next minute, dick run the next man. All that is over with. Drake is not doing no more apologies this time. You now it's, it's to pick a side time. You stay over there. You stay over there. If you, you either you OVO or you not. You rocking with the OBS, the boy, or you not. That's what it is, gang. And anybody who's not, it gets scary. Facts. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to my boy annoying though. Shout out to my boy annoying. Oh man. Marlon Waynes is being sued by his ex-girlfriend for more child support for their 15-month-old daughter. He cur what in the fuck? He pays eighteen thousand dollars a month. Marlon Waynes, ex-girlfriend, is suing him for more child support for their 15-month-old daughter. He currently pays $18,000 a month, um, but the mother claims she needs an additional 2K as she prepares to enter the workforce, according to the Daily Mail. In an interview with The Shade Room published on Thursday, the actor called the college graduate entitled as she only gives him visitation rights and requested additional What in the fuck? Hold on. Let me see what's going on. Marlon Wayne's child support. No way this shit is real. No way this shit is real. Has he spoken about it recently? Let me read the article. No fucking way. What the hell could a, 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 a few-month-old baby need with $18,000? Let me Google her to see who she is. Brittany Moreland. Let me just look up her Instagram. Is this her? No, that's not her. Is this her? Oh, hell no. Whatever. Marlon Waynes, who's 51, isn't happy with his ex, Brittany Moreland, who's 34, who has filed a petition to have him established as the father of their daughter, Axel. In court papers obtained by People Magazine, Moreland is requested a full physical and legal custody of Axel. Moreland is asking that visitation rights be given to Waynes. He weighed uh, on the filing to the shade room, quipping. Let me see what he said. Quippin, do you pay all that money per month and be called a visitor? Do the math. This is delusional. I will let the lawyers and God do what they do. I'll be creating art from a broken heart. I got nothing but love. Even when it's bad, it's good. It's God, okay? Jesus. What in the hell? Let me see what he says. So he's clearing the air on several claims tied to the news, blah, blah, blah. The actor spoke exclusively about reports about a secret child with a woman named... He said, first and foremost, he said he's not hiding the child. Instead, the white chick star aimed to protect the baby from public comments, especially on social media. It says, all love, all God. The baby isn't a secret. The mama has been posted, but I choose to keep the baby's life private. Baby's private life private. Ain't nobody's business. Social media is toxic and dangerous. I like to keep her at peace. It says, previous reported, she filed court documents, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Go back to this. So according to the doc, she's asking him to pay a reasonable expense of pregnancy and birth, as well as their legal fees. Though he's paying $18,000 for child support to Moreland, she's asking for $2,000 more. Moreland claims that Waynes earns $200,000 a month and can provide more child support. What? Uh, that includes more than $5,000 in child care, $3,000 in groceries and house supplies. Moreland, who identifies herself as an unemployed graduate student, claims that her monthly expenses come to over $20,000 per month. How the hell is a fucking unemployed chick spending 20 bands a month? I'm trying not to be disrespectful because that's still the mother of his child, but holy shit. Chick, you got to get somebody to budget your life. It takes $20,000 a month in bills for you? In response to her financial demands, Wayne said, 
It's a classic case of a good, loved, and responsible father shelling over $18,000 per month for a one-year-old. An entitled woman decides she wants more. My mama and them would have lost their minds for $2,000. He added, these women, he said, all these women having to drag men to court who pay nothing towards their children. And here, a woman gets a doctor's salary and says it isn't enough. I've had two children before this. He's also a child... Uh, Wayne's also a dad to Kai, who's 23, and Sean, who's 22. His kids live with ex Angelica Zachary. As for the claims that he's keeping his toddler's secret, Wayne's respond, the baby isn't a secret. The mama has been posted, but I choose to keep the baby's life. Uh, okay, right, cool. Oh, my God. What's her Instagram? I got to find for her. Is this her? No. No, maybe this is her. Wait, this is her. You like my voice. It's how you want. Hey bitches. This ain't my way. Um Hell nah. Nigga, I'll fight I'll fight tooth and nail before. Yo, if I'm paying you 18 bands a month for my child. You should be breastfeeding, changing diapers, playing games with my kid all day long. Ain't no break to make no fucking TikTok video. You don't get a fucking break. That's a full-time job. No breaks, period. We, If I see you on TikTok about, hey, bitches, hell out of here. I'm paying you $18,000 a month. Get to work. Entertain my child. Hell is you doing on TikTok about, hey, bitches. Hell no, nah, nigga. Get to work. Breastfeed or something. Change a diaper or something. Burp the baby or something. Fuck you got going on. 18 bands a month? Okay, so I'm on here for Freaky Friday. And I want to discuss this hair. <laughs> That's what that $18,000 is going to, chat. Buying all that weave, lace fronts, extensions. Bullshit, man. Lip kits, lashes, nails. Get into it. It's super, super convenient. I've been trying to get back in shape. I've been working out like crazy. She's trying to back another millionaire. This shit crazy. And I had a sewing before, and that shit was stinking. I don't know. How That's why she won that 18 bands, man. She got that stinky ass mop on her fucking head. Got a couple, got some little lice crawling through it, allegedly. She probably was like, fuck that, man. Let me go get this bag. How y'all keep that shit dry? I sweat a lot. Maybe it's the hormones postpartum. It is what it is. But you can put this thing in a ponytail like this. Um, I dyed it all jet black because since I became a mom, I started seeing gray hair. So... <laughs> It is what it is. Um, okay, so I need you guys to ask around. Like, I had my girl Ashley do this. She's a stylist in Pittsburgh. She don't got, like, a tongue ring, does she? Pittsburgh, she did an awesome job. Oh, my Jesus, the <sighs> Y'all wonder if, like, when niggas is paying 18000 a month, they be like, yo, man, I wish I ain't nothing that girl, bro. They got to think that, right? Man, I'll be damned if I pay you $18,000 a month and this dingy-ass looking party is where you told, my, you told my baby. Nigga, you better rent out motherfucking Disney World. You better get Mickey Mouse himself to come entertain my, 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 my motherfucking kid. SpongeBob better get the fuck out of Bikini Bottom and come in and entertain my motherfucking kid. Big Bird better bring his ass from Sesame Street and come holler at my motherfucking kid. You crazy? What the fuck are we doing? We got 10 balloons from Party City. Oh, hell nah. Hell nah, man. Y'all niggas is tweaking. You're getting 20 bands a month. What you mean? Like, what are we doing? Come on, Jesus, the This shit told my... Own. 
Milf Hack Mondays, y'all. Here we are checking it out. I have my Dr. Brown's bottles. Yo, let me tell you, man. Yo, these chicks could be on their deathbed. They will still find a way to still flex. Look, she's she really trying to flex the back. Like all this other baby shit is just background noise. Milf Hack Mondays, y'all. Here we are checking it out. I have my Dr. Brown's bottles. This hip uh, goat milk formula. And then my daughter's little diaper bag. And that's me. Hey, girls. <laughs> Whew. So the place where we are yo females got it easy don't they you fuck the right nigga you that nigga nothing to you and it's lit driving with diced out yo there's niggas i know bro nigga they would probably do a robbery per month if they could get four bands a month like yo these six they got nothing to do they want 20 bands 30 bands 40 bands Yo, they be making motherhood sound so expensive. Sectioned out um, so that I can get where I need to go. And my dog supplement. Like this is a six minute YouTube video or a TikTok video. Who's watching the baby? Formulas with my daughter and little spoonful. I put it in a bag, rumbled around in a car seat. Feel bad for my boy, man. Feel bad for him. Oh, this is a good nigga right here. Big sexy. I ain't gonna lie. Sexy Red got one of the best personalities, like, that I've been seeing. Like, she has, like, a really likable personality. And I'm really happy for, uh, for Sexy Red. Like, she deserves every single thing that she's getting. Like, she doesn't seem like a bad person at all. She just seems like a hood rat B-word that randomly made it. And she's just enjoying herself. Like, I ain't gonna lie. She doesn't even try and, like, switch up or anything. Like, she doesn't try and, like, look too much better. Like, she just looks like a, a hood rat who has, like, a scammer baby daddy who just spoils her. Like, that's how she still dresses. Like, Lorilla, when she got rich, she changed. She tried to change everything up. Like, and that's what messed Glorilla up. If Glorilla still acted the same, looked the same and all that, she, she would have been doing better. But it's crazy Sexy Red came in and washed her up in like four or five months. Like, I remember when Sexy Red first came out, bro. I'm like, eh. Like, she had the, the TikTok song about the booty hole. You feel me? Now, I'm really proud of her. She said she getting 20K a show. And I believe her. Like, the Drake co-signs, all that. Like, Sexy Red right now. Like, let's keep it a bean. She's like... For female artists, she's top three, top five easily. Like, let's see. You have Ice Spice. I'm not including Nicki Minaj because, like, come on, that's Nicki Minaj. But, like, for the newer female artists, you have the Ice Spice, Lotto. After Ice Spice and Lotto, I think they could be at one and two. I'm not including, like, the fucking Doja Cats and, like, Scissors and stuff. That's, like... We, we speak about like full on rappers or the summer. I forgot her name, like summer something, but ice spice lotto. And you got to remember that sexy, right? She's dark skin too. So like lotto, I guess lotto has some music for like the hood rats and stuff, but like sexy, right? She has the music for like the, like sexy ace, like awesome. Or like the full on hood rats. She's more popping than a lot of male rappers right now. So you, you could have Sexy Red, Sexy Red, Lotto, and Ice Spice. They're the top three. Like, what other current female rappers are, like, even close to them? You can't really say Glorilla. She's she's washed up. She's not doing anything. Who else? There's not really anyone else. It's just them three. I ain't gonna lie. And, like, Ice Spice and Lotto, they're hella, hella big off, like, because they're very, very attractive. And, like, I ain't gonna lie. People say there's not such a thing as light skin privilege. Light skin privilege is a thing. 
and they do have it. So yeah, that's a factor in that. Like sexy red, like let's keep it a bean. She's not the most attractive person. Like people say she looks like young thug. Like, but I'm telling you to like the average hood nigga or like the average like female that's in the hood, like these places, like she's from Missouri, St. Louis, like places like that. Like there's a lot of people who look and act like sexy red. So they see themselves in her. So the way Sexy Red is blowing up and how she has a fan base is really like a, a quite different from an Ice Spice and a lot. They most of their fan base is because they're very attractive. Like she really got the hood rats on her back. So you feel me? I'm really happy for Sexy Red. I don't think Sexy Red is gonna switch up anytime soon. You feel me? She got pregnant. She's still dropping bangers. It's like. She even makes songs for the niggas too, like with the shaky dress and stuff. But I, I'm not gonna sit here and dick sucker. But man, sexy red, she deserves 200k. So that's really what I'm saying. Like she's really like up there, right? Like if you asked me when she came out, I would really think that she'd be washed up. But she really came for with banger after banger after banger. Like if you really look, sexy red really has some bangers, which is crazy to say as a nigga, bro. She got some bangers though. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Big Act News, and I'm out.